Many of us have often heard that the sun directs such a huge amount of energy to the Earth's surface every year, while the annual energy requirement of humanity is such, 10,000 times less. Therefore we will cover all these energy needs if only such a small part of the Earth's surface is covered with solar panels, but this will be expensive, but it will be many times cheaper if the solar panels are replaced with mirrors. The purpose of my YouTube channel is to experiment with different types of cheap mirrors and this video will describe four examples of mirrors which are assembled from similar glass mirror rectangles and this is the first example. You may notice that first of all I made a concavity in the ground surface and then I fixed its wall with a water solution of cement to such a condition. Let's look at how this mirror will focus solar radiation and here we see spots of solar radiation from each of my small mirrors. We also see that the spots of all mirrors are trying to unite at this point where we should place a similar receiver which should move from morning to evening according to the movement of the sun across the sky. These my experiments were shown in more detail in this my old video, which also describes how this solar energy should be converted into thermal energy, which is converted into electrical energy using turbines. Adding similar hysteresis allows the turbines to operate not only during the day, but also at night and on non-sunny days, which is a major advantage over solar panels. It is obvious that our large power plants must consist of millions of mirrors on the southern slope of similar berms, but one or two meters high. This is an example of a glass mirror which is fixed on the upper surface of similar concrete slabs, which are commonly used for garden paths, sidewalks or covering large areas. Similar technology for installing slabs can be used to cover many square kilometers with our mirror slabs, for example with the help of such machines for concrete slab slaying. This is another my experiment where one slab is a place for several mirrors. Now each of these mirrors reflects the solar radiation into one of these spots. We see that the spots of all mirrors are trying to unite at this point where we should place such a receiver which will convert that solar radiation into thermal energy. Many mirrors and receivers should form long rows as described in these two my videos, which also showed the possibility of placing mirrors on the southern slope of a berm and several options for mounting the receivers. Now these mirrors focus solar radiation onto a piece of newspaper, which we see here. It is obvious that the solar radiation from the mirrors quickly increases the temperature of the paper, and therefore it catches fire. Now these hundred little mirrors hit this receiver to a high temperature, which will be measured by me, so that we can make sure that the mirrors can hit liquid up to 300 or 400 degrees. We see here that solar radiation from my mirrors can hit the surface of my receiver to temperatures higher than 400 degrees. This formula describes my goals and for example the cost of building the mirrors should be around $15 per square meter. It is realistic because wholesale prices for glass mirrors can be less than $10 per square meter, especially mirrors with an aluminum reflective layer on thin glass. This formula leads us to this cost of our solar heat, half a cent per kilowatt hour, which is almost 10 times cheaper than the cost of heat from natural gas, and this cheap solar heat can be converted into cheap electricity using turbines and heat storages. The next example requires a similar structure made of cheap plastic that will hold the glass mirror rectangles which will focus the solar radiation onto the receiver. This example was described in more detail in this my video, and it is good for the case when someone wants to create a startup but has too little investment, because this previous example requires more investment and has more risks. This first example is even more complex, but on the other hand it has the greatest prospects of achieving the goals of this formula, because the building its mirrors consists only of forming berms, pressing the concavities, fixing their surface and installing the mirrors. 
YouTube describes many examples of how someone glues small glass mirrors onto a satellite dish which is made from a metal sheet that costs more than $10 per square meter. But these costs are radically reduced in this my experiment where small glass mirrors were glued to the concave surface of expanded polystyrene foam. Now we will see how my concave mirror focuses the solar radiation here, and this example was described in more detail in this my video. Also for many years I have been using these mirrors, which are made up of strips of glass mirror on a sheet of expanded polystyrene, and now I am showing their technical condition after 12 years of outdoor use. This is another one of my mirrors, where the glass strips lie without any fastening, but it was a bad idea, because now we see how strong winds have moved the strips, and we also understand that cleaning these mirrors will be a problem.